All right, so sore throat, common cold, and a funny voice, but the show must go on. Gentlemen, in this episode, in this upload of Mental Essentials, we will be continuing our chest workout. I told you I'll be discussing the shoulders workout as well, and I did tell you that I do my shoulders and chest together. I train my shoulders and chest together. So this workout or the split that you are going to see in this video is a followed up part or is a part two of the same day routine that I do on my chest day or that I do after my chest training. So this is my current shoulder split. These are my current shoulder workout. You see, if you want big, strong and functional shoulders, if you want strenuous yet very muscular shoulders at the same time, I think this workout can help you a lot with it. So my name is Mangalacharya. Excuse my funny voice. Excuse my nasal voice. But hey, this is Men's Essentials. Let's roll the intro. Okay, so first thing first, before I get into the video, in case you haven't checked out our Instagram yet, we have been posting four new posts every day now. Two videos, two photos, and a whole lot of things, a whole lot of stories that will help you get your training game on that will help you get your nutrition and a lot of motivation entrepreneurship thing that I would not want you to miss. In case you haven't checked it out yet, check the very first link in the description box and see it by yourself in case you like it. In case you find it well worth your time, do give it a follow. Now, that being clear, that being said, let's discuss our shoulder workout. Okay, so as you would know, if you would have seen our chest workout, you would definitely know this for a fact that I love to warm up my shoulder. I mean, it's not an option for me. I have to, I need to warm up my shoulder. So what I'll do when I'm trying to warm up my shoulder is I'll take the PVC pipe, I'll do some rotations, I'll do some isolateral rotations and then I'll take a dumbbell and I'll do my external rotations with that as well. In case you don't want to use a dumbbell, you can just take the cable machine and you can do some external rotations like that. The reason you have to warm up your shoulders is because you want your rotator cuff to be healthy and strong. You don't want to snap your rotator cuff because if that happens, if that ever happens, God forbid that shouldn't ever happen to you, but if that happens, you are quite literally now once I'm done with the PVC, once I'm done externally rotating my shoulder, I can either do some warm-up sets of a clean and jerk or I can do some snatch so that my shoulders are nice and warm, my rotator cuffs are nicely lubricated for the main heavy lifts. Now once you are done doing that, once you are done warming up your shoulders, the very first thing, the very first exercise that I'll do is the very basic of starting strength which is a normal standing shoulder press. This is not a military press or anything like that. It's not a fancy lift. It's not a fancy press. This is just the basic standing barbell press. I'll keep the bar on my anterior delt and I'll push the weight up. Now, of course, if you're trying to hit your PRs or if you're trying to do three or two rep max, you can use some of the jerk from your knee to get the weight up and then you can have a bit more of poundage on the bar like that. But I wouldn't recommend you do it. I mean, ideally speaking, I will want you to keep it straight. I will want you to keep it all nice and tight and press it as hard and as strong as you can. Three to four sets, four to five reps each. Once I'm done with that, I'll go to the dumbbells, I'll go to the dumbbell section, I'll pick up the dumbbell of my relative strength and I'll try doing the same thing but with the dumbbell this time. Why? Because if you remember from the chest workout video, there are two different motions, there are two different movements involved in any training. The bilateral movement and the isolateral movement. When you are training yourself with a bar, you're using both your limbs, so this is the bilateral movement. So you won't be able to give attention to each individual delt all that much. But this is not the case when you're using dumbbells. Dumbbells are a whole lot more isolateral, it trains your weaker sides a whole lot more better and thus I love doing the dumbbell presses as well. So what I'll do is I'll pick up the relative strength dumbbells and I'll do three sets of around five to six reps each. Now once I'm done with that it's time I move on to some isolateral or very isometric shoulder workouts. See the previous two lifts, the previous two exercises were majorly focused on your lateral and your anterior delt but what if you want to focus on each of your shoulder heads individually or specifically. You have three heads in your shoulders in case you did not know. This is your anterior delt, this is your lateral delt and then you have your rear delt. So the first two lift, the first two exercises were heavily focused on the anterior and the lateral head. The following two exercises are going to be a bit more isolateral or a bit more isometric in general. So what we are going to do now is we can either pick up a dumbbell or we can use the cable machine and we'll do some side lateral raise. Now this may look a bit funnier than your average side lateral. Kurt see the Athlean X method. In case you haven't seen his videos, in case you haven't seen his side lateral range and why does he fanboy it so much, you should totally go and watch his side laterals and you'll know why am I using it in this particular way. But like I said, you can either take a dumbbell or you can either use a cable like I am. Once I'm done with that, I can either jump into a side lateral machine and train both my side laterals like that or I'll skip this all together and I'll move on to my anterior delt. This is something optional. This is something that I don't do on a regular basis because 
I think that when you're pressing, you're working your anterior enough already. But if you want, if you really want to train it extra, then you can just pick up a plate and do some anterior lifts like that anterior raises or front delt raises, whatever you like to say, and you can conclude your shoulder workout. Now, of course, if you want to spice things up, you can either train some clean and jerk like I do, or you can do some inverted or handstand push-ups to have more functional strength in your shoulders. I mean, I want my shoulders to be very practically strong. If I'm supposed to lift something heavy on top, like a gas cylinder or something like that, I should be able to do that. That's where I put my training in. That's where I put my functional strength. In. Anyway, this concludes my shoulder workout. This is what I do in my current shoulder routine. Remember, don't forget to warm up and don't forget to lubricate your shoulders nice and tight before you get into your main sets. Anyway, if you have any more workout queries in case you want to see any more training methods or training routines, you can do that on my Instagram in case it wasn't clear. Now it is. Check out the training stories. You can see daily videos of me in the gym, pressing my ass and trying to be a bigger, stronger guy. In case you have any more workout requests, you can put them in the comment section. I'll make it for you. But for now, I'll get back to work or maybe I'll just pop some antibiotics because I need that and then I'll see you tomorrow in the next one. Gentlemen, my name is Mangra Sharia. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.